Hey everyone, Vivek here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can find and validate ideas using AI. So over here, I'm on Futurepedia, which is the largest AI tools directory. You can come over here and you can search ideas AI, which is the tool that we're going to be using. And you can click on visit over here. You can also uh, find validator AI, which is a tool that allows you to validate business ideas and we'll open it as well. So we here on this website, what it does is it generates ideas using GPT-3 and then it curates them based on what people suggest, right? For example, a tool that helps people track the performance of the e-readers, analyzing which ones are the best for them. Okay, nice. And then it will show you another idea over here, a data driven service that estimates the cost of a trip based on emissions, driving it all the way to booking a flight. Hmm, this is pretty cool because global warming, you know, climate tech is all the rage right now. The platform works with airlines and car rental com companies to help reduce emissions as well as help people make smarter travel decisions. I really like this idea. I'm gonna use this in Validator AI. But before that, I also wanna show you like this month's top ideas is there as well, wherein you can go over here and find, you know, what people have upvoted the most. So there are other ideas or startup that pays people to go to the gym and track their workout. <laughs> that seems pretty cool as well, right? So yeah, I mean, this uh, website is a gold mine to be honest, and I would recommend checking it out. I'll put the link in the description below. So now let us do the second part of the idea process wherein you'd validate it. So let us try that out. A data driven service that um, calculates total emissions uh, during a trip, total carbon emissions. And you can click on give me feedback. So it lists the number of challenges that you can face when building this out. So for example, accurate data collection, data analysis, there can be competition, it could be high cost. And then, you know, feedback right now is given undefined, but generally it's able to come up with proper feedback as well as to what it thinks of the idea. We can try it with the other idea, I guess. Maybe it will be able to help us out then. So a startup that pays people to go to the gym and track the workout. So now it again lists out the challenges that you are facing with this. And yeah, now it comes up with the feedback. So the challenges it has listed is people might not be motivated to go to the gym. If they're not being paid, there could be a lot of free riders who sign up for the service, but do not actually go to the gym or track the workouts. The business model could be unsustainable if not enough people sign up for the service. All very valid points to be honest. And then the feedback is that it's a great idea. A few things that could make it even better would be to offer discounts or other incentives for people who reach their fitness goals and to partner with local gyms or fitness centers. You could also consider expanding your services to include nutrition counseling or other health related services. So I mean, I don't think I would have thought of this. This is pretty brilliant to be honest. This tool can be very useful in such cases to just come up with twists to the idea, things that you wouldn't have even considered, right? We can try it with something else as well, like maybe a platform to help farmers in India to manage their crops and sell directly to consumers over the internet. In the short time since launch, it has sold 1.6 million worth of produce. So sometimes it like, you know, GPT-3 can be unreliable, like it will just hallucinate. And I think that's what has happened over here. We can use this part. Let us get feedback on it. So there may not be enough demand for such a service. There may already be similar services available that farmers are using. It could be difficult to get farmers on board with using the platform if they're not familiar with technology. And there could be issues with the delivery of products purchased by consumers. And then the feedback is that one potential issue your business may face is a lack of trust from potential customers. And I think, yeah, that's probably going to be the major issue. Since they will be buying food items sight unseen, they may be hesitant to do so without knowing more about the quality of the product and the farmer selling it. You will need a way to overcome this obstacle, perhaps through building a reputation for quality products or by offering guarantees. Additionally, you may want to focus on a niche market of farmers and consumers who are more comfortable using technology and the internet as less tech savvy individuals may be harder to reach. And yeah, I mean, this is the feedback that we have gotten on this. So yeah, I think I could spend all day doing this, but I'm gonna end the video over here. You can check out all of these tools and more in this section of Futurepedia uh, startup tools. There are several tools over here, like name generator, website builder, uh, presentation builder, etc. And you could find them very valuable too. So I link all of this in the description. Do check it out. And if you like my content, please consider liking, subscribing, and pressing the notification icon. That will just encourage 
encouraged me to continue doing this stuff and it really means a lot to me as well so thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one